Arriving the Osubi airstrip on Saturday, 23rd April 2022, Vice President Yemi Oshibandu was received by the Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Viom Wagigi, Governor of Delta State, Dr. Ifani Okoa, and a host of dignitaries. A condolence visit was later paid to Mrs. Caroline Keyamu and family on the demise of their father, late Pa Mathias Keyamu. At the funeral ceremony of late Pa Mathias Keyamu, which took place at a through Uwe local government area of Delta State, Vice President Yemi Oshibandro highlighted late Pa Keyamu's contributions to national development as a foremost cooperative officer and urged the family to sustain its legacy. The Vice President stated that late Pa Keyamu was a patriot who sacrificed to support humanity and contributed to nation building. This was a great man with a large heart and a general spirit. And I think it is, it is now up to us and up to the children and grandchildren to ensure that we continue in the way Pa Keyamo has demonstrated. I'd like to express my deep condolences to the Keyamo family, the governor, the people of Delta State over the passing of Pa Keyamo, the father of my dear brother, uh, Fescus Keyamo, Minister of State for Labor and Productivity, and his siblings beginning from number one to number seven. May his memory always be blessed. And may the good Lord comfort Mama Caroline Kayamo and all members of the family. In a tribute, Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Uvi Omwagiki, said late Pa Matthias Kayamo lived a good and fulfilled life and appealed to the family not to mourn, but celebrate his life and times. In addition to the children, let this old man here in our community. He left his mark in the development of our own ethnic nationality itself, the Rogo Nation. He left his mark to his service, to the development of our state. Papa Kayamo, he came, he ran a good race, and now he's gone. So on behalf of the people of Delta Central Senatorial District, I wish Papa fair you well. And it is my prayer and my hope that the Almighty God will grant all of the children and the very, very brilliant grandchildren the fortitude to deal with not what I call a loss, but the passing. Chief of Staff to the President, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, and Governor of Delta State, Dr. Ifa Nyokoa, condoled with the bereaved family on behalf of the country and state noted that late Pa Keyamu left an indelible footprint in the sands of time. What Mr. President has asked me to convey is condolences, the fact that we are celebrating not mourning the loss of uh, the compatriot, but also a set of prayers. Thus, that may his soul rest in peace, and may the Almighty God receive him in heaven as one of his most favored and favorite servants here on earth. And finally, that may all the family of the late Pap Matthias Kayamo be given the strength and the fortitude to bear this loss. I wish on behalf of the government and the people of Delta State to express our condolences and to pray that God will lead you on, even through this period of celebration and beyond. Some of the children and grandchildren of late Pakeyamu spoke on the fond memories of, of their father. My late father never failed to give me my full dividends as last born of the family. In fact, he showed me great love as last born. Behind that discipline, we felt love. And then that has molded us to what we are today. Oh, my granddaddy told me he was so wonderful. Late Pa Mathias Egwariwa Keyamo died at the age of 83 on Saturday, 5th March 2022 in Efru. Born on 23rd of August 1938 in Erovia Quarters, Efru, Uwe local government area of Delta State, Pa Mathias Keyamo was later raised in Kaduna and Elaru, 
Ogu State, where he met and married his wife, Mrs. Caroline Kayamo, Ni Ogu Jobi. The couple immediately relocated to Ugeli in Delta State, where late by Matthias Kayamo, they got all his children, including the Minister of State, Labor and Employment, Chief Festus Kayamo, SAN.